Hi everyone! Today's video is about popular fragrances. These fragrances are quite hyped in the social media and basically I'm just gonna let you know what are my thoughts about these perfumes. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new here, my name is Joanna and I do perfume reviews and recommendations in my channel. Welcome! So some of these perfumes are quite talked about in the perfume world and I must say some I am extremely happy to have in my collection. Some are just decants. Um, actually, most of them are just decants and I'm very happy that I tried them out first. Without further ado, let's get this video started. When I was in Dubai for holidays, I had three major niche perfumes that I was so eager to buy. In Dubai, it's easier to try niche fragrances Dubai Mall because everything is almost there. Compared to um, here in Europe, um, these niche houses are kind of like scattered around, you know, and basically here, I buy more decants. However, in Dubai, you can just simply go to Dubai Mall and sample. But going back to my story, I had these three major niche fragrances to try. Yeah? Actually, I was planning to buy them all, but thankfully, I managed to try them first on my skin and like at least I tried them overnight. Having said that, I'm gonna start off with Possibilities by La Perla. I know this is a very high floral dominant fragrance. First of all, I'm not the biggest fan of floral perfumes, but I had high hopes for this one because a lot of people are raving about it, saying that it's a sexy floral fragrance. Okay, all right, so I had a sniff of it and I was disappointed because to me, it smelled like a designer fragrance. Um, I'll never forget, my reaction was like, oh, this is like Alien Goddess Intense with a mix of Lanterdi by Givenchy. And I don't know why I was smelling tubers in that perfume, even though there was no tubers note. It was just full of um, floral notes, so I don't know why I was just smelling um, tubers. And I think that was the first fragrance that I tried when I arrived. So I know that it is not interfering anything else. I made sure that I wasn't wearing a fragrance that time because I know that I'll be testing out perfumes. Um, yes, so um, that was the first try and I know straight away that I won't be purchasing that one. Uh, it's just that for me, there's nothing special about it. Um, I didn't find it sexy at all but it is a floral dominant fragrance. Um, yeah, of course, I know a lot of you are a fan of floral fragrances. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, I wasn't just a fan of floral fragrances. That's why I didn't like it. But anyway, to me, there's nothing wow about it. It has the vibe of designer fragrance. Yeah, that's just my thought about it. Second major niche fragrance was um, Baby Cat by YSL. Um, I was so happy because it was so easy to find in Dubai. Because I remember during that time, even here in Portugal, you won't find Baby Cat. Um, so yeah, I was so excited to try it. And yes, it was nice. It was really nice. Major notes that I got were um, vanilla and incense, but it is more incensey on my skin. It's nice, but I wasn't wowed. Um, great perfume, but you know, the hype that surrounded Baby Cat was just like something else. Um, 
I remember it was sold out in America and even here in Europe it was so hard to find. Everybody's finding a store where to get it but then like you know when I tried it it was nice vanilla incense fragrance nothing wow because I feel like I had perfumes that had the same vibe like for example it will it's not even close to my favorite vanilla and incense fragrance which is um watch material um yeah it was beautiful but just not a wow factor for me um yeah that's my thought about ysl baby cat lastly i'm watch guidance i talked about this fragrance many times in my channel already so probably you know my thought about this the fact that i came home with a full bottle means that i approved the hype of this fragrance ah oh, this is captivating again this is a fragrance created by the master perfumer canteen bish this is fruity, woody, creamy, and powdery. Um, I didn't like it the first time I tried it. Um, only the next day when I smelled the dress that I was wearing, uh, when I tried this perfume, this was sprayed all over my dress. And I was wild. It left me sleepless. Because I think during that time, we only had like two days left in Dubai. And for sure, I won't have time to go back to Dubai Mall again to purchase this. But then, you know, I managed still to get this one in the airport. Because by the way, in case uh, some of you didn't know, the Dubai airport has a lot of niche fragrances. You will basically find everything there. Um, and also cheaper because it's tax-free as well um, anyway going back to this perfume i really love it hands down unique what i'm getting are pear hazelnut and saffron in the beginning and then dries down with that sandalwood vanilla and akigala wood it's so beautiful guys the dry down of this is very captivating powdery fragrance that you you've never smelled in your life yes that is a bold statement because it's the truth and i know a lot of you have watched my video and you've seen me raved about it as well anyway my thought about this perfume is that it is worth every single hype in social media love this perfume my best discovery of 2023 i'm watch Ridens. The next perfume has been in the fragrance world for quite some time and this is by Cantin Bish as well and, and it's called Fleur Narcotique by Ex Nihilo. I just have a decant. Um, mm. This is very nice. It has that famous Cantin Bish DNA, lychee, bergamot, peach, peony, but this time missing the Aki Gala wood there's no woodiness at all very pretty mm. um but it's just that for me i find this fragrance too fruity for my taste um actually i feel like this fragrance has two sharp fruity notes mm. that peach and lychee are too sharp for my nose I have tested other fragrances that are similar to this fragrance and um, yeah, I prefer Levant over this one. Um, Levant for me is not too sharp. Um, I feel like Levant is more subdued and more well balanced. I like this one but just too sharp fruity notes and also it's quite not quite it is expensive for what it is in my humble opinion um yeah so that is fleur narcotique by ex nihilo okay next perfume is pick me up by atelier dior 
this is quite hype as well in YouTube. Mm. This is a very fruity fragrance as well. What I'm getting are blackberry, rose, and champagne notes. You know, this is a very sparkly and fruity perfume. Very nice, very uplifting. Um, however, I just feel like it didn't give me that wow uh, factor as well. I feel like this reminded me of so many perfumes as well out in the market. Like for example, um, Mon Paris by YSL. They are kind of like similar to me. Um, it's just that this has a sparkling vibe in it from the Champagne Note. It didn't strike me. So yeah, for me, this is just an okay. Atelier Dior, Pink Me Up. Next perfume is another creation of Kenton Dish and this is Valaya by Parfums de Marly. This one actually is so beautiful. Mm. It has that white peach, orange, bergamot as well, mm. musk, and this, this has Akigala wood. So yes, another typical DNA of Kenten Bish, which is peach and Akigala wood combo. Mm. This is woodier than Fleur Narcotique. However, the kind of peach that I'm getting from this uh, fragrance is like more realistic. You know, when you cut the peach into half and you put that half in your nose, that's the kind of peach that you'll get on this fragrance. To me, it is so nice, very refreshing. It is more loud than Fleur Narcotique. And also, the longevity and projection of this one is a winner. You will definitely be smelled. And this lasts for a very long time. I've used this several times. I really love it. Uh, my only complaint about this fragrance is the price. Um, it's still at 200 something euros because they're only offering a big bottle of this. And it's just that right now, I try not to purchase a fragrance more than 200 euros just because of personal, just because of my personal choice. Because I feel like if it's more than 200 euros, then I really have to be wowed. And um, yes, this is nice, but I'm not wowed because I really felt the, the similarity with Fleur Narcotique and Levant. And still, um, amongst the three, I prefer Levant. So yeah, this will be a pass uh, for me for that reason. However, still very nice, especially if you want something more potent than Fleur Narcotique, I think. Um, this is just heavier in peach, in my opinion. And also, this has a woodier base. That's my thought about Valaya by Parfums de Marly. Ooh, next perfume is very hyped, and this is God of Fire by Stefan Humbert Lucas. Straight away, I'm getting mango, lemon, ginger, and red berries. Very nice. Mm, it says that it has agar wood as well in the base. And I actually get that in the dry down. Mm. The opening of this is very um, juicy and tropical. And it's just, it's beautiful, I must say. Um, however, I feel like I'm reminded of... Uh, mango shake with this fragrance then you know i ask myself do i want to smell like a mango shake and nice and beautiful but not my not my vibe it's not something i want from a tropical fragrance if you know what i mean having said that with the price um yeah this is a pass for me um, even though I, 
I don't have a mango dominant fragrance in my collection, but I will say that this is not the one. I just know. Mm. It's it's too fruity and pricey at the same time. However, this lasts for a very long time, around six to eight hours, and it projects as well. I remember I received a compliment from my mother-in-law when I was wearing this. Like she um, she came in our house and she was like, oh, you smell good. So I know that this projects well. Got a fire by Stefan Humbert Lucas. Next perfume is called Sonic Flower by Room 1015. And I have here a travel size of it. Mm. This has carrot seeds and pink pepper, mm, oris, ambroxan, and a lot of musk. Mm. This kind of reminds me of uh, Fleur de Peau by Diptyque. However, just the beginning. I think because of uh, the carrot seed note. Mm. This is very heavy in oris and, and iris, in my opinion. Um, therefore, it has that um, lipstick vibe in it. Like it starts off heavy in oris. So it was kind of like metallic -y on my skin for around two minutes. And, and then I get the iris. It became very lipsticky and then the dry down is a uh, musk and cashmere with a touch of those iris and oris and it's beautiful it lasts long on my skin let's say around six to eight hours however i find the projection not beastly like it stays closer um to the skin it's it will definitely give you a scent bubble it's giving me a clean girl vibe with a twist i think it's because of the iris pepper and musk combo in this perfume mm. i love this one and yes you can see i've used this quite um, a lot already and yeah once I finish this, I'll be getting a full bottle. Yeah, so that is Sonic Flower by Room 1015. Next fragrance is Triumph of Bacchus by Argos. And I have purchased actually a 30ml bottle of this one. Um, I have a mixed emotion about this fragrance. Because, you know, this fragrance was so hype that I was so excited to purchase this and I was expecting a lot first of all I am already aware that this fragrance is being compared to red tobacco by Mancera and I must agree um, the first time I spray this it was quite harsh as well and medicinal so it definitely reminded me of red tobacco and i actually have a uh, red tobacco but then when i tested them side by side they are not the same actually red tobacco is screechier but still this one has a screechy opening and uh you know i've tried this several times even like overnight just to prove to myself that what I'm smelling is correct. And every time I use it, it's giving me that screechy opening. Same like uh, red tobacco. This has rum, green apple, white peach, saffron as well. Um, tobacco, vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. Um, those notes I am clearly getting. However... Um, I'm happy that I only took a 30 ml bottle of this. This one has a lovely dry down. I read so many reviews about this perfume in Fragrantica and they're so in love with the dry down. Yes, I completely agree, but I wasn't wowed with it. Um, I like it, but I'm not blown away. It is great. Um, but 
I was expecting more. And this is, yes, similar with red tobacco, but this one is definitely um, better blended. The screechiness lasted for around three minutes, and by five minutes, you will get that lovely um, vanilla tobacco a boozy scent uh, on your skin. Oh, and by the way, I also heard that this has like a beast mode longevity and projection and I didn't get that. Um, I've tried this several times and it has a very good longevity, let's say six to eight hours, but it's not beastly on me. Compared to how people are raving about how beastly this fragrance is on them, it wasn't uh, that big of a performer for me. And also when it comes to projection, it was just okay. It wasn't beastly as well. Is anybody feeling the same way like I do about this fragrance? Um, yeah, please write me down in the comments down below because I'm torn and I feel like I'm just making this perfume work on my skin. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, that's my thought about um, Triumph of Bacchus by Argos. Next fragrance is Bouquet and Corp. Guys, this is very high floral fragrance as well. Um, I remember the first time I tried this, I was like, it smells like corn. Oh my. And I checked straight away the notes and of course, it doesn't have corn. It has Sichuan pepper, tuberose, vanilla, uh, jasmine, and musk. However, I've tried this several times on me and I'm really getting that corn, corn smell from it. Uh, unfortunately, this perfume I didn't even like. Um, it's not a hate, but it's just that it's my skin that has something to do with it. Maybe it's the Sichuan pepper um, that is giving me that corn smell. Did anybody feel the same about this perfume? I actually gave up on this perfume <laughs> because I think it's just not for me. Yeah, um, that is Bouquet Encore by Le Auguste Parfum. Next perfume is Peregrina by Tamim. Oh, guys, okay, I still have a sample size and yes, I think I just finished it. Mm. This to me just smells so luxe. This is very heavy in rose and it has that caramel as well, jasmine, amber, some powdery notes and white musk. It is so good guys. Um, this is definitely going to my wish list because I really love it. Um, if I can give a city that describes this perfume, it's going to be Dubai. Because this perfume smells luxe and also it has that Middle Eastern vibe in it. Because of that rose, feels like it has wood but it doesn't. I think it has saffron. Or no, maybe it's the mirror in here that is giving off that Middle Eastern vibe, but then the way it is blended with amber and caramel, oh, this is so beautiful and feels very luxurious. Yeah, this is worth the hype in my opinion. And yes, love it. Um, that is Peregrina by Tamim. Okay, and last but not the least is Ylang in Gold by Emmy Kilef. Um, I had the sample size of that one and I actually brought it in uh, my vacation in one of the islands in Philippines and I was so excited to use it there, you know, because the first time I got it, um, I was still here in Portugal and I was getting some medicinal vibe in it. Um, so I was thinking, uh, that time probably it was winter so 
I can get the full potential of this if I go to a tropical climate. And yes, so I brought it with me in, in the island. And um, what can I say? It didn't last long. <laughs> it didn't last long as in like lasted me maximum two hours. And I actually finished my sample in Burakai uh, Island and it just didn't do it for me. Like the medicinal smell didn't go away. It was still there. Um, however, I love the tropical feel in it. The ylang ylang and jasmine was so nice, but there's something bothering me uh, about it. Having said that, I won't be purchasing um, ylang and gold because it just didn't work out for me. So those are my thoughts about this hype fragrances. Um, how about you? Have you tried any of this? Um, do you agree or not? Um, because I must say, with all the perfumes that I mentioned today, the ones worth the hype for me, definitely, Ammo Watch Guidance, um, Sonic Flower, and um, Peregrina, Vitamin. Those three really wowed me. Um, the rest... Uh, are okay or like i won't even be purchasing a, a big bottle so that is the video for today guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and see you on my next one bye